unsolved. The John Bonet Ramsey case. DNA experiment. All right, on our way to the post office. Right up here on a rainy day. Hopefully you can see. If you don't get a ticket. So in this episode of Unsolved, we're going to do a DNA experiment. So I'm opening up this package that's been sealed and I have this um, solution, water-based solution, and I'm going to put it in the plastic bag and then we will add a sample of touch DNA and then we will package it up and mail it to a DNA lab to determine if DNA is detected and whose DNA. So here I put just a little bit of solution in there. Hopefully it has no DNA and I'm going to add the DNA. So here I'm putting some scissors under very hot water to sterilize them and hopefully they're not contaminated. I cleaned them a little bit with any foreign DNA. And now here we have a new package of a t-shirt, extra large. I didn't buy any, I didn't buy any girls white panties, I bought a t-shirt. Okay, and now I'm going to cut open the package, trying to avoid getting any of my DNA into the package or on the shirt. Now, even though this isn't in a lab and scientific, it's still pretty unlikely that my DNA will get in the sample once you see what I do here. So we get a scraping instrument, the scissors, and I scrape the collar as much as possible, getting as much of the cloth or any possible DNA that's on there. And I'm putting it on, I'm collecting it on that aluminum foil there. And the reason I'm doing it so much is I'm trying to find any trace of DNA at all that's on the clothes and so I did the collar and then here I scraped the shirt some more and some reason the scissors keeps poking the shirt but I did this as much as possible to try to get any DNA and then what I'm going to do is Put the uh, fibers or hopefully skin cells that f were on the garment. I'm going to put it in that little plastic bag. So I've collected enough of the fibers from the new t-shirt and possibly some trace DNA, who knows? We'll find out in about four weeks. And now I'm putting it into the bag with the solution. And then we will put that in the little test tube that they provide. So here's the little DNA kit that I received in the little test tube and you're supposed to spit in that tube there and then seal it and mail it 
but I'm going to add those fibers from the shirt in the solution and put it in the test tube here and then once I get it all in the tube I will seal it up with the little cap that they provide and then off camera I shake it up as the instructions tell you and then I will put it in the package and mail it I will take it directly to the post office here in town and get a tracking number so I can follow it to the lab in Utah and see what happens. Hey, good morning. I just wanted to hand you this to mail it. Because it's, uh, it's one of those DNA kits. Oh, cool. So I can track it or something? Yep. Thank you. I appreciate that. First, I realize this is kind of low budget uh, DNA experiment. And I might get some of my, I might have got some of my DNA in there. That's what they mean by majority component and minority component. The majority of the, of the substance in the test tube is going to be the cloth. The cloth fibers from the t-shirt and any skin cell DNA that was on it during the manufacturing and packaging phase. So now I'm requesting that you leave a comment about this experiment and be nice and tell me what do you think is going to happen? What will be the result in four weeks? Will we get some kind of DNA or will there be some kind of mistake or goof in the process that I took? And if we do get someone's DNA whose DNA is it gonna be will it be mine I should be able to tell if it's my DNA or not because I know my heritage or will we get the DNA from somebody who worked at that factory so once again I want to repeat my theory how the unknown male DNA got on John Bonet's clothes. I feel that John Ramsey is guilty of John Bonet's murder, and the boys' long johns is where the unknown male DNA originated from. They were either in the dryer, float, banging around in there, and got DNA all over them from maybe one of Burke's friends, whoever's long johns those were or they came out of the package with the unknown male's DNA on them already and all over them and the DNA transferred to her underwear and that's how it got contaminated with some innocent person and that's why you're never going to have a criminal database match to that DNA. They might be able to do it through family DNA and figure out whose DNA that is, and we'll see that it had nothing to do with the crime. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. 
Well, this ends this episode of Unsolved, and I'll see you next weekend with a new episode on both the John JonBenet Ramsey case and the Zodiac Killer case.